Okay, so this is my review of the uh, Electrum Servercrafts Aegis. It's their latest hilt. I bought this back in July. I, I believe that they had a pre-order for special pricing. I took advantage of that, and uh, so I'm glad I did. Um, when I actually when I first bought it, when I bought it or pre-ordered it, rather, I my main I, my main concern was whether the uh, touch switch would be responsive. And I'm happy to say that it is. Uh, I had no issues with it at all. Um, this is the Ion Switch, the newest one. Okay. And there were the options to choose what colors you wanted. Behind the switch, I chose blue, red, and blue. You can obviously switch it up with other colors, whatever color you want. And just quickly, I also like to show you. The blade plug I got for this specific hilt, I got this, um, it's called a Sardic Blade by Obi Shane. These are the uh, Rebel Armory Forum, that's where I ordered it from. And it looks amazing on this, so I'll show you briefly. It's awesome. If you're interested in this uh, blade plug, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, okay, so now changing. I just got to start at the. Okay, so here at the the pommel, we have access to the recharge port. The kill switch and access to this SD card. This here, okay, this one here is the uh, one above. Is the charge port? And the one there, as you can see, that light, that white switch there, the dip switch, that is the kill key. Push it towards the saber, turns it on, kills, puts po power to the battery, and the right kills it entirely. And opposite this is the SD card. Right there, I don't know if you can see it there. Um, the saber um, allows for eight sound fonts and has 12 blade profiles, so you have. So you can change Saber's colors to 12 different colors of your choosing. And they can be set through the app, which I will show briefly. Uh, now in terms of the sound fonts, it's recommended that you turn the power off entirely, take out the SD card. Now no format is, is Required. It's very easy to simply copy and paste the file into the SD card and you're set. Um, once that is done, there's a button on the app that says reload from SD and that'll um, load into the app. And that's pretty much it. It's really quick. Okay, I'll show that again briefly when we get to that part of the uh, video. So let me put this one back on. Now to access the app, so the app's available on the Android and iPhone. Oops. You have to turn the on first. And once that is on, there's a button here that says search again. Tap that. And as you can see, this one pops up. It was, by default, it has it had, um, Electrum 1, so I changed it to Aegis. In order to connect, press configure. And once you hear that sound, you're connected. Here you can see the battery, how much battery is left. And you can 
Yeah, I think the internet connection, I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So I can control the sounds for here too. Set the sound, volume, and we can't get really, really loud. Now, as you can see, that's why halfway. So I'll leave it here so you can hear me. Now, let's go to sound profiles. Uh, I said, this is the button I was referring to. Once you've copied and pasted your sound file to your SD card, reinsert it. And once you're in the app itself, press reload from SD and it'll load into here. And this is what, and these are the f sound fonts I had chosen next door. I had by default when I pre I uh, bought the uh, Saber, Prismatic Light, Rogue, Saber Tech, Imperial Knight, Glare, and oops, not Necrovolt, and Sith Lord Unleashed. Now these can also be configured within. We are you can preview different sounds. Um, swings. Even clashes. Okay. So you can turn those off if you wish. But I'd prefer to leave them on. Blaster. So it's very, it's conf fully configurable. This is great. It's really great about this. settings and this one took me quite some time to dial in according to my personal swings so it'll differ for each user okay let's actually turn this off I'm not so fond of this auto lock up all right once that is uh, off you'd have to manually on the saber um, activate that Here and it's going to be on. That's it. There we go. If that was on, if that lock, auto lock was on, I'd swing it and it would automatically turn on, activate. So, so, just going back. That's motion settings. Change the power off saber. Is there anything else? That's, oh, yeah, blade settings. This is where you can set your 12 colors. Right now it's on. Or file three. Actually, let me attach this, the blade to this so, so you can see the change. Let's get this up here. Yeah, just briefly. So, like, we plug. Nice. Okay, so Ram Blade Profile 3. Four. Five. Okay, well you get the idea. It goes all the way up to a six. This is, okay, in this case, this is orange. If you want to change it, go to configure. And the LEDs by the way on this uh, hilt is RGBW. Red green, blue, and white, and change the colors by pretty much just sliding the slider so for each respect to the LED. So in this case, where it's the blue, let's put blue in here, it'll, so yeah, I just put it all the way. There's a test button here, so here's here, you can press the test button, it'll show you how it looks like. Okay, so. I'm going to put it back. So I went back to orange. So once you've chosen whatever color you wanted, go press back and 
tap that save button and it'll save it. Pretty straightforward. Easy to use. It's fun actually to, exp to experiment. You can also change the uh, flash and clash here, the setting here. Um, I left mine at white because it's, to me it's just, I don't know. Again, it depends on the person. So that's up to you as well. Um, there's also flicker setup with pulse or with audio with pulse. I left mine with audio, which I think is much better than pulse. It looks better. It's actually much closer to uh, to the movie, anyway, in my opinion. Okay. I'm just gonna. Now you can also change the cell font and blade color on the hilt itself. To do so, you do the following horizontally and tip it towards me. Hold it for a few seconds. There you go. Bottom, the bottom switch chain um, toggles from one sound font to the other. Okay, so. So, yep. Now, for changing colors, press the top button in this case. Change the colors. Sometimes the camera doesn't pick up some of the changes, but it uh, rest assured it does change. Like in this case, it did change though. This is more like lime green, uh, greenish. Okay, gentle. Okay, and then once you've chosen whatever color and font you want, um, just gotta press on this one. Just another. Oh, they have a price for red one. Anyway. Next door. Next door. Oh. Just press the middle one, the red one. That sets it, and you're set. So yeah. Again, I'm uh, very pleased with the saber. Uh, do I recommend this? Yes, highly. Those guys at Saber Electrum. Or Electrum Sabercraft, sorry, Dave and Curtis. Very help helpful. And they respond quickly to any concerns, questions, whatever. I mean, I usually contact them through Facebook, message them, and they usually get back to me within a few hours. Um, and these guys are from Canada, Calgary, Alberta. Which, if for those of you who live in Canada, like I do, it's an advantage because you don't have to pay for customs. <laughs> so, yeah, great job, guys. Now, the only problem that I encountered is um, this. It's not the saber itself per se, but more of the um, the Unity app for the Android. For some reason or other, um, I could not get it to connect to the uh, to my saber. I have no idea why. So, accessing it here, pressing it, it's. I don't know, it's not going. Other than that, um, it works amazing. So, so yeah. So, 
I highly recommend it guys for those who are still on the fence buying the saber. So that's pretty much it. I think I've covered it pretty much everything. Um, yeah, that's so happy saving guys and uh, thanks for watching.